Thanks for staying with us. Now, uh, International Artist Day, that's IAD, is celebrated annually on October 25th. It's a day to recognize and celebrate the contributions of artists from all over the world. IAD was founded in 2004 by the Art Council of, for Education, a non-profit organization dedicated to promoting art education. The goal of IAD is to raise awareness of the importance of art in society and to encourage people to support artists and their work. This is a good day. I don't know how much, I was just, I don't know, you know, I think some of these days actually, some of these days actually when you see some um, timelines on Instagram, it just because I, I was just admiring so many poetry work. Yeah, I think you spoke about class, poetry. And, yes, yeah, and yeah. all of that. And, and today is international art. Okay. Are you like, an, an art lover? Uh, yes. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> Madam Drawer. I actually when, are you going I, to, when are you going to open your gallery? I'm not sure if I'm ever going to open a gallery, right? I think right now I'm just taking it one step at a time. So there was a painting or an art, a drawing rather, that I started um, I think three weeks or four weeks ago. I finally completed it um, two days ago. Like completed it. Oh, <laughs> so I finally completed it and I just left it on my work desk. So every day I'm just staring at it and looking at it and anticipating what my next drawing is is going to be and it's really exciting i love that i've been able to pick up art again but i really want to take it a step further into actual paintings right yeah because i've seen a lot of people that have inspired me recently and i'm like yeah i can do this too i just need to be more disciplined and and consistent but i mean speaking about art right if you look at how nigeria is going these days right there are lots of people that are beginning to appreciate art right um there are lots of art shows people are opening uh are showcasing in galleries um i have a friend who showcased um i think he showcased last week someone else got an award um two days ago that kind of thing says so like a lot of people there's this other girl that i know on a surface level i realized that she just started painting and she started selling her artworks and i'm like girl I'm joining I, you. I should start <laughs> painting. So, like, literally, when I was a lot younger, right, I used to do so many. So, all these, uh, illust what do they call them, illustrations yeah. and all of that, I yeah. used to do all of those things. Like, literally, sometimes I look back and say, who killed my creativity, for mm. goodness sake? Because I was, like, the way my life that I know, I remember when I was young, I was very much art inclined. Yeah. But I think somewhere along the line, somebody just twisted my brain that art people are not serious people, no they're serious. not this, they're not yeah. that. So as I focusing on more of my science subjects and all of that. Yeah. But I was like literally art. Mm. You know, so it's not a, a mistake that I'm back into the creative Easy space creative now space, done yeah. probably through media. But yeah. art was me because literally I would draw mm -hmm. I used to draw all kinds of very beautiful drawings, you know. I used to have those very beautiful drawings where you draw a lady with, you know, I used to draw the Indian, because I, I love the Indian saris. Yeah. So I used to draw the silhouette of Indian oh, women, nice. the saris and all of that. We all the thing go, nah, nah, no, no. I think, I think to, to, nurture, to nurture your creative side, right, sometimes we need motivation. Yeah. Especially when you're a child. You need motivation. You need consistency and discipline, but then someone has to push you if you're a child. Absolutely. But then as an adult like this, who we'll pushes you? So I think what we can do myself. to even help ourselves, you know, the sip and paint. Yeah. I think we should take one of those, you know, classes, classes and just go sip, paint. Then I'm thinking also, I loved Adire. Mm. I remember that when I was doing tie and dye in school, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Mm. You know, in fact, then some days I look at some of my plain things. I just wonder, like, ha, I wish I could you know, convert them because yeah. these are creative things mm -hmm. that you can even become, you can become a major merchandise, yeah. right? So art is beautiful, it honestly. Is. And it I is. think we should appreciate them a lot more. You know, sometimes when you see some prices on a piece, you say, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually expensive. Hey. It's because it takes, it takes, it takes time. There's this artist I follow on Instagram. I think you should follow her if you really love art. Mm. Um, Duni, the artist. I don't know if you know her. She's in, she's in I've, Atlanta, I've, I've I think. She's abroad. She's in the US. Yeah. Duni, the artist. Mm. Where she uses glitter. She uses different kinds of things. She does big 
um, like live pieces. Mm. So she would come to your space. So sometimes they give her plain walls. Sometimes she builds on a canvas and mm. comes and installs beautiful artwork. Oh, nice. And she started even give, taking, and um, people take classes now with her. with her. Yeah. At some point, we wanted to feature her, but the timing was not just yeah. working or, or, on ways, but she's amazing. Well, I follow amazing. her. I'll, I'll send you her page. She's, that's she's amazing. amazing. I like, and her, her work is very simple. Like, well, in my mind, it's simple because you just do the, this thing and put the glitters, put the colors, but she just, you, could, you can tell that it's coming from a creative yeah. um, place and no two pieces are same. Oh. No two pieces are same. Nice. She's very nice. creative. Nice. All right, so Jennifer found the news. I did not know she had already found it and I went to find it. <laughs> so what is our news? You work up with me. Just, <laughs> just putting it out I there. I did not see your news now. That I'm the original owner of this story. That's why I said, what is our news? <laughs> so, Jennifer, what's your news? Okay, Jennifer, what's your news? <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, right, um, a man recounts his experience at WIAC office after bribing a secretary. So, um, what he had said was that he needed to send his WIAC results to to an organization. So, he had gone to WIAC office at Yaba and he had requested for his results. So they directed him to one of the secretaries to attend to him. But then when he got there, the lady told him, oh, that even if they expedite it or he uses FedEx or whatever, that's going to take him two months to actually get his results. But if he wants his results to come out soon and he needs it urgently, then he needs to shake body, in her words, that you need to shake, you need to shake body. And he asked, like, ah, what do you mean? She said, oh, it will cost you 5,000 naira. So he shook his head and he said, okay, that he didn't have any other option. So he decided to actually give her the 5,000 naira. Now, guess what? After he had done that, she brought out 500 naira from that 5,000 and gave it to him and told him to go buy her malt and puff puff. So after he had posted this, right, um, you had a lot of people who, who commented and they were complaining about government parastatals and how some of these things actually happened. Um, one had mentioned how, um, I think he had like almost similar, um, similar experience, but this time around the woman had a child and had to give him the child to hold. And someone else had talked about, um, he said, oh, he, that he went to NECO to get his NECO certificate. And they had told him, that they couldn't find his certificate. So they had showed him documents that showed that um, someone had collected it, but then there was no signature. All they told him was, your NECO certificate is missing. It's not here. And it just didn't make any sense, any sense to him. Now, the one that was very, that was very funny, um, a guy had said that a police officer once told him that um, he would make money even if he was posted to a burial ground. And he had asked, oh, how would you make money? And policeman goes, oh, that once he gets to the burial ground, when people come to inquire about spaces to bury their loved ones who had passed, he's going to tell them there's no space. Now, for you to get space, you need to drop money. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's just a lot. So people so, have been complaining that even NIN office, when you go to NIN, you want to get your um, international passport, driver's license, tax offices, these Same. things do happen. So let me let me go back to the original story. And this is why when I saw the story, I wanted to take the story, which was why why I'm smiling is that I don't know if I can if they can see this chat. This was a chat between myself, my son and myself on Monday. Yeah. And he goes, um, to go um so he says, I have to pay seven thousand five. I said, Okay, please go ahead. And he used my card details to pay on the Wayek portal. There is wayek.org slash certificate. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Wayek has released, they've launched a portal. And this is his certificate. This, they can see it, it's Wayek certificate. So when I saw the story, I said, you, like literally, uh, we, so it's two things. Yeah. It's possible that the sensitization has not really gone far. Yeah. And that's why I'm taking my time to explain this thing. Mm. I, and I know that Wayek had been running a lot of ads. I've seen a lot of ads. In fact, I was even uh, at some point, you know, having conversations to bring some of the ads to, to us on ways here. Yeah. But the goal is I saw what they did. Brilliant initiative. Yeah. So for as far back as even your certificate, if you need it now, all yeah. you need to do is go on the portal. Do you understand? And you'll be able to pull out your certificate. certificate yeah. So there is no all that because, again, they are trying to cut off 
all the issues of fake yeah. uh, results and all of that. So now, why I can send your result directly? Maybe if you are applying to a school mm. or something, they can send the, um, um, the result directly. And you do, all you need to do is to pay your the fee, just like what you do with Wes. Yeah. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, please, for anybody out there that wants to get your WIAC certificate, maybe for your job, or maybe you're relocating, or maybe for, um, what's it called, um, school, school or whatever, purpose, yeah. go on the WIAC portal, right? Let see, yes, I know that corruption is everywhere. Mm. But some of these people are also trying their best to cut off some of these things that brings breeds corruption yeah, yeah. and this technology is one of the best things that would ever happen to any human being mm. you understand especially when it comes to your results and all of that mm -hmm. imagine if we had our universities able to give us this one too yeah. so you just send it all that because when i wanted to get my transcript i had to pay this person to pay this person to pay this person mm. to get my transcript to, to send it to west yeah. so now that my transcript is uploaded on west right i uploaded it in 2000 and um, 2015, yeah. right? Mm. Now that it's uploaded on West, I wanted to do something recently and they needed my transcript. All I needed to do was just pay an, another, uh, uh, I think $100 or something dollars. And that's all. West will send it straight to the place I need it. So it's this same kind of structure that we have with WIAC now, yeah. that they can send your result directly to whoever needs his original result. Yeah. I mean, like literally on Monday here, immediately he paid. It was an immediate certificate. Mm. It, it, they didn't take two, uh, two hours or whatever. It was immediately. Mm. So let us be um, intentional about taking advantage and learning, getting information and yeah. taking advantage of what some of these organizations or the parastatals are doing yeah. to bring about reforms. Mm. Uh -huh. That was why I wanted to take this story. On that note, <laughs> let's talk best breast cancer. Stay with us. We'll be right back.